My name is Greg Damhorst, and I'm an MD-PhD student at the University of Illinois. To be a Christian and a scientist is an interesting intersection. It seems to me that the majority of religious people and the majority of scientists feel like they're at odds with each other, but they actually have everything to do with each other. Every day I get to work with things that God created and to try to understand better the magnificence of what God has done. That's something that motivates me as a scientist and as a, a future physician and to realize how big it is and how, how complex it is and how much it's beyond my understanding. Well, I'm an evangelical Christian. Faith began at home. My parents took me to church called the Evangelical Covenant Church. They taught me about who Jesus is and they taught me how to be a Christian. Throughout my life, I've struggled with how to be an evangelical. The word evangelical in, in many places has become a dirty word. It's something that turns people off. I believe that what my faith teaches is truth and that other things are not. But I also feel that I'm called to present these answers about my faith with gentleness and with respect. If I can just have a genuine relationship with somebody without making converting them my only focus, then I'm probably communicating my faith more effectively. My experience with people from other faith traditions began with a friend in high school, Heimong. I was a student leader with a program called Campus Life, uh, which is a part of Youth for Christ. We had weekly meetings where we just had conversations about life. My friend Heimong came to those meetings a few times. and I think I was probably thinking about, you know, the hope that he would, would come to know Christ the way that I do. Um, but I think what I was focused on was just having a relationship. He then went to the University of Illinois two years before I did. So when I showed up here as a freshman, he sent me an email one day and said, I'm part of this interfaith dialogue group. I thought you might be interested in it. That's when I first met Ibu Patel of the Interfaith Youth Corps. And when I was really challenged to think about the fact that there is religious diversity in the world. For the past four and a half years, I have gotten more and more involved in interfaith cooperation, and it's certainly something that I think God has directed me toward. So as a graduate student in bioengineering, I'm working on a point of care device for HIV AIDS diagnostics. We're trying to take the technologies that are used in the developed world hospitals that right now will cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, and we're trying to miniaturize that. What we'll be able to do then is to take those tests and bring them anywhere in the world. Even though I was doing nuclear physics the whole time I was planning on going to medical school, I felt that God was calling me there as a, a place where science and, and service really intersected. Being able to work on a device that can really change the face of AIDS in these places in the world where it's, where it's an epidemic. That's what drives me every day, you know, and is that I can be a part of that. I'm not just doing something to get a PhD, I'm doing something to make a difference. Mm -hmm.